okay so this is a second numerical based on the z parameters the circuit is given to you and we need to find all the z parameters so what so this is 1 ohm 6 ohms 4 ohms and 2 ohms so this is the circuit i have redrawn the circuit and now i will mark all the voltages and the currents so this is the input port so the voltage is v1 output port the voltage is v2 the current is here i1 the current is here i2 right and let us assume so i1 basically in this direction i1 let us assume i2 in this that this is i3 and i2 will be in this direction right so these are the three loops and we will apply the apply the kvl equations in all the three loops and we will find out the current values right so apply kvl in loop one right so i will apply the kvl i'll get v1 minus 1 i1 minus 6 now across the 6 ohm resistor there is a current i1 in the same in this direction and there is a current i3 in the opposite direction okay so so it will be i1 minus i3 equals to 0 so we will further solve it i can write v1 equals to i1 plus 6 i1 minus i3 equals to 0 or i can write v1 equals to i1 plus 6 i1 minus 6 i3 equals to 0 and v1 equals to 7 i1 minus 6 i3 equal no not this 0 this will not be equal to 0 yeah so this is my equation number so this is 7 i1 okay so this is my equation number 1 okay now apply kvl in loop in loop 2 okay so now look at the loop 2 now the in loop 2 it is i3 the current is i3 here in loop 2 so what i am going to do is i am applying the kvl equation across the 4 ohm resistor so the equation will be i am going in the same direction as my current so it will be minus minus 4 i3 minus 4 i3 minus 2 now across the 2 ohm resistor i3 and i2 are in same direction so it is i3 plus i2 and then minus 6 minus 6 and i3 is going in this direction so minus 6 i3 minus i1 equals to 0 right so i'm solving this equation you can also solve with me minus 6 i3 plus 6 i1 equals to 0 so it will be minus 6 minus minus 12 i1 minus sorry not i1 it is i3 minus 4 6 12 minus 12 i3 minus 2 i2 plus 6 i1 equals to 0 we, we divide this equation by 2 so it is minus 6 i3 minus i2 plus 3 i1 equals to 0 so i can write so i can write um uh, maybe i can write i3 the value of i3 minus 6 i3 equals to i2 minus 3 i1 and i3 equals to uh, 1 upon minus 6 i2 minus 3 over 6 i1 it is plus right so i3 equals to it is 3 by 6 it is 0 0.5 It is 0.5 I1 and it is 
0.16 i2 so this is i3 the value of i3 here now i am applying kvl in loop 3 applying kvl in loop 3 so when i apply kvl in loop 3 the equation i will be getting is v2 v2 minus 2 2 i2 plus i3 equals to 0 so v2 minus 2 i2 plus i3 equals to 0 so i can write 2 i2 plus i3 and v2 equals to 2 i2 plus 2 i3 so this is my equation number 3 and this is my equation number 2 so what i need to do is i need to solve equation number 1 in terms of uh, i1 and i2 so i am putting the value of 2 putting value of i3 from equation number 2 in equation number 1 so v1 equals to 7i1 minus 6i3 minus 6i3 so what is the value of i3 now 0.5i1 minus 0.16i2 0.5 i1 minus 0.16 i2 okay so i'm solving this equation now v1 equals to 7 i1 minus 6 into 0.5 equals to 3 i1 plus 6 into 1.6 oh sorry 6 into 0.16 equals to 0.96 i2 so v1 equals to 4 i1 plus 0.96 i2 so this is my first equation now putting the values in equation number 2 so it is v2 equals to 2 i2 plus 2 i3 what are the values of i3 0.5 i1 minus 0.16 i2 so it will be equal to 2 i2 plus i1 minus 2 into 0.16 so it is 0.32 i2 so it will be 2 minus 0.32 equals to 1.68 1.68 i2 plus i1 so this is v2 okay so this is the equation of v1 and v2 now i will just compare the equation with uh, we have the equation v1 equals to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and another equation is v2 equals to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 right so when i write the z impedance matrix so i write it like this z11 z12 z21 and z22 so i'm just comparing these two equations equation number five equation number six with equation number seven and equation number eight so it is four here and uh, z12 is 0.96 and z21 is um z21 i1 so it is 1 and z22 is 1.68 so this is my final equation and this is the answer thank you